Okay, this is a short video to show the reassembly of the drive side bottom bracket bearing cup, the so called fixed cup, on a Japanese bicycle. This says Tang. And um, the key on this is that this is left handed thread. So when this goes back in, and when you take it out, you can't do it according to righty, tighty, lefty, loosey. Okay? And the reason why I'm showing you this right here is that on this particular one, this was extremely difficult to get out, and it's because there was corrosion or some form of rust that, of water penetration that got through on this bearing cup. It seems as though on, on this, if it's slightly loose, for example, like this one was, I don't know why, water can easily get in here and cause a real problem. Now, with the corrosion now, it can be difficult threading this back in. And if you encounter a problem with it going in, one thing you do not want to do is to get a big wrench like that and just kind of help you get it in. And the reason is because this is very easy to cross thread. It's a very fine thread and the bicycle tends to be a soft metal. The bottom bracket is very hard and that combination means that if you put this in at a slightly off angle it will actually start going in the first couple of threads and it will appear that it will get tight and you're not quite sure why it's getting tight and you might be apt to say well if I just take a wrench it'll just help it get through. Now, the reason I say that is because I've done that before. Uh, my first bicycle was an English bicycle. I loved taking it apart, but when it came to the bottom bracket, I did not know that it was reverse threaded. For example, right now, I have started putting this in, and it's starting to bind up. And when you look at it, it doesn't actually look that bad, but it's not quite right. And if I and I actually was reassembling it. I actually started doing this for a short period of time and I realized, okay, I can't use that wrench. I have to make sure that I can do this by hand because by hand, you can't really strip it, okay? Um, and these threads, I would say, are probably slightly damaged, but that's okay because by the time it goes all the way in, it's gonna be fine, okay? Um, if you think this is right-handed threaded and you have a big enough wrench, you could actually remove this by turning it uh, the wrong way. And all you're doing is cross-threading, completely cross-threading. Um, you just ream the threads out until it's totally loose. And then, of course, the, the bike is mostly junk. Uh, anyway, so that's just uh, a little tip. I, I have this here. I'm going to add grease. I'm going to add grease to the threads here to prevent further corrosion. I'm going to make sure that I have it in finger tight. I mean that it will go in smoothly just with my hand until it gets all the way to the end. And then the last couple of turns I notice it is getting a little bit tight. And that last one, I will torque it up with the wrench because I, I want this to stay on. I don't know how it loosened up before. Um, with the reverse thread, the actual cycling action is supposed to keep it tight. But for some reason on this bike, this uh, fixed cup actually came loose and, and water got in as a result. And, and, then, the, and then there was damage on the entire bearing cage and the bearings on this side were just totally rusted out. Now I'm going to put in some new bearings and I hope to get this back in working condition. So that's the tip here.